Hi, this is Nico from GiganticAction.com. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel on Facebook, even if you're just a beginner in the online marketing space. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to create a sales funnel on Facebook. And if you stick around till the end, I'm going to give you a free PDF that is a step-by-step -step process that goes even deeper into setting out your funnel on Facebook. In the previous video, I explained in detail how to create a sales funnel. And I even gave you this example of one of our top converting funnels. Now that you have a funnel ready, we need to replicate this on Facebook using the Facebook pixel and creating relevant audiences based on the steps of your funnel. The easiest way to do this is to get a visual of the funnel in a spreadsheet style format, then create audiences in Facebook. Here is an example of what it would look like for this particular funnel. Audiences are being created inside the Facebook business manager that replicates your marketing funnel for targeting and retargeting through the different steps. Here is an example of how you will create the blog visitors audience. You'll start off by clicking on the nine dots in the top left-hand corner of your Facebook ads manager. You'll then click on audiences, create audience and custom audiences, because we will be creating a custom audience in this example. You then click on website and then enter the website address of your blog in the section provided, give the audience a name and then click create audience. You've now created an audience of all the people that have visited your particular blog page. When this audience is created, you will be able to choose it in the ad set custom audience section when creating your ads. Go ahead and create an audience for each step in your funnel. In this case, we already created the audience for the blog content. Then we're going to create an audience for the webinar opt-in, the webinar thank you page, or the webinar play page, the sales page, and the purchase complete page after the purchase has been done. Now let me show you how you will target at each step of your funnel. So let's assume these are our campaigns. We've got a cold traffic campaign, blog content campaign, webinar opt-in, webinar training, sales page, and those are our campaigns inside Facebook or what we'll also call our Facebook funnel campaigns. At the first step, we'll send cold traffic and exclude people that have already read the blog and we send them to our blog page. At the second step, we will take everybody that have visited our blog, exclude people that have already opted in for the webinar, and we'll send this traffic to the webinar opt-in page. The next campaign, we will take our webinar opt-ins, we'll exclude people that have viewed the webinar, but we'll send the people to our webinar training page. The next campaign, which is the webinar training campaign, we will take everybody that have viewed the webinar, but have not viewed the sales page, and we'll send them to the sales page. And lastly, we'll take people that have viewed the sales page and have not purchased and we'll send them also back to the sales page. So as you can see now, as we've taken the audiences and we've created a Facebook funnel where we take people from cold traffic to blog content, to a webinar, to a sales page. As you can see, it is not difficult to create a funnel on Facebook. As a matter of fact, it's quite easy. Just follow the steps that I showed you in this video. Now, as promised, here is a link to my Facebook Pixel Slow Cooker PDF. This document will give you even more detail on how to use the Facebook Pixel to create your marketing funnel on Facebook. To download it, just go to traffichike.com forward slash FB Pixel. That is traffichike.com forward slash FB Pixel. Now that you know how to create a sales funnel on Facebook and have a step-by-step -step process you can follow, let me know in the comments below what is your biggest challenge in creating a sales funnel in Facebook. If you like what you saw in this video, please subscribe and switch on that notification button for more value-loaded videos on sales funnels. And in the next video, I will talk all about the sequence of digital marketing funnel stages.